Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Joxa playing Dragon Age Origins. In the previous episode we cleaned out <laughs> half of our inventory and we uh, killed a pack of dogs and we're about to head over to the body here that's uh, probably from the kid's mother that we saw on the bridge. Though I'm a little bit concerned because we saw some walls here earlier but they are gone now. Supposed to be walls here. At least earlier they were. Ah, <sighs> that poor woman. Doing a quick save <coughs> because we're still looking uh, for the bears. Well, those certainly look like bears to me. Oh, the spiders are gone. The spiders are gone. Please tell me the spiders are gone. Oh, come on. Okay, again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make Alistair stand below here and us all on the... On, on the ridge here. There you go. Diana with me. Morgan as the in-between. <coughs> there you go. And Alistair in front. Because I suspect this to be quite a battle. There you go. Trying to save you guys' ears because I was coughing there. Um, little black bear. Boom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh okay. Let, let's just keep going then. Alistair, I really want you to go stand in front of the bear. And attack it. In the face. Uh, freedom for everybody. And I'm off. <coughs> okay. There you go. Doing pretty nicely. Yeah, this is gonna work. Good work, people. Good work. That was pretty good. Are we done with these quests now in Lothering? <coughs> return to the Chanter. Return the Keepsake to the Chantry. Awesome. Still don't know what this uh, this landmark is about. Just a landmark tree, that's it. Okay. Why do I run as if I'm needing to do my business somewhere? Uh, oh well. We're, we're just gonna run like this then, I guess. All that is excited. Yar! <coughs> Back into Lothring. Sorry if I keep muting my mic, it's basically when I need to cough and I don't want to kill you guys' ears. Because I do think about you guys. I keep you at least in mind. Back so to the chant. Let me get this straight. Oh. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. <laughs> I would tell them <coughs> I was just checking. Uh, you never know, right? I... No, I never did oh. anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. <laughs> okay then. John Tedevant. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. That would be us. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. You're welcome. Um. That's both of those quests? Like, 
Yeah, it was. Awesome. Kind of feel cheated though with only 50 silver, but whatever. It's fine. No problemo. So, we have about 11... Oh, we got a lot more than 50 silver. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Anyways. Um, there was a few things that I uh, need to do at one point, but we'll see. Oh, I also fixed, fixed my CPU problem where it started to slow down horribly. And I actually set it to... Uh, it was on the, uh, the origin forums themselves. Um, there was a fix for my specific CPU, which basically was turn on CPU 2 and 3 instead of 0103. Yeah, I'm working on the quad core here. So that's cool. Got it all fixed, and um, yeah, we're definitely gonna do a quick save here because I know what's coming up. We're technically almost done here, uh, but there's a few more things there that need to be done. I'm uh, leering up to that area over there. There you go, thank you, thank you, thank you. How much space do I have? Oh, plenty. And there's a reason why I just went into uh, stealth mode. See someone shouting, go go back, don't let them, blah blah blah. Oh, I see an opportunity folks and I can't let it pass. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh, they didn't see me! That was awesome! Um, would be nice if people did stuff. Just come down here. I mean, that's basically two guys that are taken out of the fight. Alice is doing okay. Spumbling the enemy. <coughs> Time for Alistair to use a heal. Here I am. Oh, look at the damage. Beautiful over here you oh 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 you will run you will run <coughs> that's how we do it dirty dark spawn there's a poor woman here hello oh it's a blood mage sealed letter malifar maleficarum regrets I won't go back, let them hunt, and dread finding me. But you, Melis, should not live this life. It would please me if you found a life in the Circle Tower. I left a few things, mostly <coughs> mostly stolen from the Enchanters. Sell them to fund the new patch, uh, path. The cache is in the study area, middle alcove. Goodbye. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Um... You're welcome. I mean, you know, Darkspawn. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant <coughs> and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um... He seems like such a nice guy, but I'm not quite sure. It's a bit complicated. Um, let's be honest, we're an honest chap. I, I doubt you want to travel the Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. Aye, right, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I'm, I'm being nice here because uh, they, they, they'd get in so much trouble with us. Small shield and a small carved statuette. Ta-da! And... Yes. Ooh, a health poultice. <coughs> That's pretty nice. And it's not a lesser. 
So we traded a lesser for a bigger. That's cool. It's very cool. I'm gonna do a quick save. Baboom. And let's have a look at the map because now we should be able to see uh, all of my DLCs. Yes. <coughs> Bad dreams, huh? Um, it seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Whoa. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. <clears throat> but yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thank you, Alistair. I really appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. <laughs> Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. There we go. Oh, Alistair proves. Excellent. Quest updated. Let's see. King's Confidant. Ban Lawrence Land. Ban's Land lie in the northwest. Okay. Soldier's Peak. There you go. Now everything is available. Perfect. Enchantment. Talk to the dwarves. Well then, that's interesting. Where would the dwarves be? Maybe the gigantic glowing thing over there? I am, however, adding yes. Stan to the party for a second. No, we're not going anywhere. Yet. Ah, come on, I just want... Uh, I just want to go and put some equipment on Stan. Is it really that much to ask? Ay ay ay. Anyways. Ah. Oh hi. Good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the <coughs> inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Uh What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits in the night. If there were spare hands to hire <coughs> as guards, I would have done so long ago. Um, let me see your worst then, Bodan. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, look at that. 99 flasks and everything else. Tome of Arcane Technique. Tome of Physical Training. Uh, physical Technique even. Uh, the Veshal. Sylvan's Mercy. The Blood Dragon Helmet. Uh, we've got the uh, normal uh, breastplate here. Uh, it's going to take forever to actually be able to wear that by Alistair. But we have it here. The angled strikers. Ooh, hello. <coughs> it's kind of tier one though. It's kind of eh. Blood dragon plate gauntlets. The bard's dancing shoes. Blood dragon plate boots. Earth heart portable bulwark. Oh, there's some really nice stuff here. <coughs> Spell wards. 
Harvel and Twilstone, Dalish Pendant. I'm just gonna go over this for a second and see if there's anything. Oh, backpack upgrade. That's a lot of money, but I really, really would like that. Yep, I took it. Let's talk to Sandal. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Oh? Um... What enchantment does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any <coughs> weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, yeah, I want some enchantment. Enchantment! Though. Hell yeah. Let's see, we have the Edge, who has two slots, and the Oathkeeper, who has one slot. Fire Rune, Slow Rune, Frost Rune, and Journeyman Lightning Rune. We can't do a lot, can we? Um, huh. <coughs> uh, I guess for now I'm not gonna do anything like this. Uh, but it's def definitely something to keep in mind. I want a specific rune uh, that I'm looking for with myself. Uh, that rune would be uh, the rune that will cause me to paralyze. And those of you who already saw me at the level up screen know what I want to go for, and paralyzation will be interesting. Anyways, let's have a a little chit chat with Morgan. Yes, I know enchantment. Oh dear. Uh, but we're actually going to do that in the next episode because my timer just uh, was blabbing at me. So anyways folks, in the next episode we're going to go and chat with Morgan, see what Stan is up to, talk with Lady Yana, talk with Alistair and we're going to head out. And the first stop that I personally want to make is try to get the into the Stone Prisoner. Which is... Um, I think it should be somewhere down south it's like a little village that's around here ish and that's where we can get some nice upgrades I also want to go back to Ostagar uh, that's also a possibility apparently and uh, see what we can uh, recover there although it's gonna be completely covered in darkspawn no doubt so anyways folks as you know as you can see there's a lot ahead of us so folks as always I'll be right back